Lifetime RC. Today we're going to fly the Blue Thunder. This is a plane that I've wanted to build for at least a couple months since the uh, Big Red plane went down and I took it apart and built Eclipse, the giant 80 inch plane that I built. Um, and I've kind of had the parts for this for a little while, uh, but I've been so busy working and everything, I haven't really uh, wanted to build anything for a while. Um, but then just the other day I wrecked the Eclipse plane, uh, unfortunately, and that kind of made me want to build a new plane. So here it is. Um, we're going to kind of go over it a little bit. Um, I took the motor and ESC from Eclipse. Um, I also swapped out the props. The Eclipse had the 13 inch, 13 by fives. These are 12 by fives. Um, running a 3300 milliamp uh, 3S, which I'll pop this open for you guys, so you can see the 3S back here, the 60 amp ESC, I have my Speedo in here, I have the AR630 Spectrum receiver in here with SAFE, which uh, we'll probably not use SAFE, um, I'm going to get it up in the air and see how dialed in it is, uh, but we'll fly it without it at first, just so I know I have enough control. Um, let's see, let's go over it, so... Um, like the big red plane, it's a 60 inch wing. Um, so as you can see, it's got um, a tapered wing. It's nine inches in the middle and seven at the tip. We got uh, two inch ailerons, two inch by 10 inch. Um, and then a small V-tail with an inch and a half um, elevator. Um, the fuselage is uh, three inches wide, three by three. Um, the whole plane weighs, I didn't measure the grams, but it's, um, two pounds, 15 ounces. So it's just under three pounds with the battery and that's with the camera on top as well. Um, so that's pretty good. Uh, this is lighter than the big red plane. Um, it's also, I think two and a half pounds lighter than Eclipse. So I'm expecting this thing to be pretty fast. Um, I, I expect around 80. Anything more than that is just awesome. Um, we're gonna we're gonna uh, have the speedo going when I put it up in the air for the very first time, and we'll find out how fast it is. If it does good, if the motor stays cool and the ESC stays cool, I'll probably step up the prop to a 12.6. But for now, I think the 12.5 is gonna be just fine. It'll be way way more than enough for us to get it up in the air. We did some tests just on the bench, and it it it's got some power. It's got a lot of thrust. So, um, we're going to go ahead and get the camera going on it. We'll get the speedo going and chuck it up in the air and see if she flies. <laughs> 